वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ माइक्रो कंट्रोलर एट जीरो फाइव वन वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो एल बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू इंटरप्स ऑफ एट जीरो फाइव वन ही आर माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स विद एट जीरो फाइव वन माइक्रो कंट्रोलर वी हैव फाइव इंटरप्स आउट ऑफ दिस फाइव इंटरप्स टू आर हार्डवेयर इंटरप्स वन इज आई एन टी जीरो एंड सेकेंड इज आई एन टी वन दिस टू हार्डवेयर पिंस आर देर विद एट जीरो फाइव वन in which you can have two hardware interrupts another three interrupts are internal software interrupts out of this three two interrupts are there regarding timer overflow so for timer 0 overflow and timer 1 overflow two interrupts are there and third interrupt with internal software interrupt we have interrupt regarding serial communication so for ti and ri we have third internal software interrupt so that is how in total five interrupts are there all these interrupts are vector interrupt so i'll explain you how exactly priority is there with all these interrupts how 8051 give services to this interrupts as well as how to control this interrupts using ie and ip register all those things that i'm going to discuss in this video step by step let us see all those things one by one so here let us have discussion based on basics of interrupts in 8051 first so as i have told you we are having five interrupts in 8051 all are vector interrupt two interrupts are hardware interrupt that is coming on int 0 bar and int 1 bar pin and another three are software out of that two are there regarding timer overflow that is tf0 and tf1 which is timer overflow bit which is there with this two interrupts regarding timer here one another interrupt which is there regarding serial communication so common interrupt is there for ri and ti bit inside ascon register so in total five interrupts are there one is there regarding serial communication two are there regarding timer and two are there regarding hardware here my dear students we can control all these interrupts using ie and ip register that even i'll explain you in this video itself let us try to understand first how we can have interrupt service routine so whenever you execute main program during this main program execution as if interrupt is coming then program control that will get transferred to well defined isr location but here you will be performing sub routine so main program's address that will get push on stack and after that it will jump to isr location then it will execute program over here at last you will have to execute reti instruction to retrieve your original program's address so when you retrieve original program's address at that time you will be performing pop pc so here main program's address that we have stored on stack by push pc and when you execute reti at that time you will retrieve that main program's address by pop pc and then you will come back to main program again that is how interrupt service routine that is happening in 8051 now my dear students i'll explain you how priority and vector address is there with all five interrupts so here my dear students when we talk about priority then this priority that you will have to remember there are few more reasons that you will have to remember this i'll explain you that one by one see priority is there as per 1 2 3 4 5 and highest priority is there with int 0 hardware interrupt then tf0 means timer overflow 0 is having second priority then int 1 means hardware interrupt 1 that is having third priority then timer overflow 1 means timer 1 is having fourth priority and least priority that is there with serial communication which is happening with respect to ri or ti bit all these interrupts are defined with vector address and that is predefined vector address for all the interrupts so whenever int 0 is happening at that time isr program that will be there at this vector address right so it will jump over here with vector address defined as per 0003 hex with tf0 000b hex that vector address is there with int1 
जीरो जीरो वन थ्री हैक्स वैक्टर एड्रेस इज देर विद टी एफ वन जीरो जीरो वन बी वैक्टर एड्रेस इज देर एंड विद सीरियल कम्युनिकेशन जीरो जीरो टू थ्री वैक्टर एड्रेस इज देर सो दैट इज वॉट द एड्रेस ओवर हियर एट विच प्रोग्राम कंट्रोल विल गेट जम्प आफ्टर गिवन इंटरप सो बेस्ड ऑन डिफरेंट इंटरप वेरियस वैक्टर एड्रेस आर देर नाउ माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ वी कैन कंट्रोल दिस इंटरप बाई यूजिंग आई ई एंड आई पी रजिस्टर सो फर्स्ट आई एक्सप्लेन यू आई ई रजिस्टर दैट इज इंटरप इनेबल रजिस्टर दैट इज ऑल्सो बिट एड्रेसेबल दिस रजिस्टर दैट वी यूज इट टू इनेबल द इंटरप इफ यू सी द फॉर्मेट देन यू सी इंटरप्स आर देर इन दिस सिक्वेंस ऑनली लेट मी एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ सी दिस ई ए दैट इज इनेबलिंग ऑल द इंटरप सो वेन यू मेक इट टू वन ऑल दिस फाइव इंटरप्स दैट विल गेट इनेबल्ड हियर ई टी टू दैट इज रिजर्वड देन यू सी दिस इंटरप्स आर देर इन सिक्वेंस सो यू सी फिफ्थ इज देर रिगार्डिंग सीरियल सो दिस इज इनेबल सीरियल देन यू सी फोर्थ इज देर रिगार्डिंग टाइमर ओवर फ्लो वन सो यू सी इनेबल टाइमर वन देन यू सी थर्ड इज देर रिगार्डिंग आई एन टी वन सो दैट इज इनेबल एक्सटर्नल वन देन यू सी सेकेंड इज देर रिगार्डिंग टी एफ जीरो मीन्स टाइमर ओवर फ्लो जीरो सो दिस बिट इज देर रिगार्डिंग इनेबल टाइमर जीरो एंड देन यू सी हाइएस्ट प्रायोरिटी इज देर विद हार्डवेयर आई एन टी जीरो सो दिस इज इनेबल एक्सटर्नल जीरो दैट इज हाउ दिस बिट्स आर देर इन सिक्वेंस सो यू विल हैव टू रिमेंबर दिस इंटरप्स इन सिक्वेंस आई एन टी जीरो टी एफ जीरो आई एन टी वन टी एफ वन एंड सीरियल दैट इज हाउ यू शुड रिमेंबर इट एंड यू कैन प्लेस बिट्स इन साइड आई ई सो वेन एवर यू मेक दिस बिट्स एज वन यू विल बी इनेबलिंग दॉज इंटरप्स बट टू इनेबल ऑल द इंटरप्स बाय सिंगल बिट यू विल हैव टू मेक जस्ट दिस बिट एज वन दैट विल इनेबल ऑल द इंटरप्स सो हियर ई ए दैट इज देर एज पर इनेबल ऑल ई टी टू दैट इज रिजर्वड एंड दिस इज ई एस मीन्स इनेबल सीरियल ई टी वन मीन्स इनेबल टाइमर वन ई एक्स वन मीन्स इनेबल आई एन टी वन एक्सटर्नल इंटरप ई टी जीरो मीन्स इनेबल टाइमर जीरो ई एक्स जीरो मीन्स इनेबल एक्सटर्नल आई एन टी जीरो दैट इज अव इट इज देर सो टू इनेबल इट यू जस्ट मेक इट टू वन एंड टू डिसेबल इट जस्ट मेक इट टू जीरो but when you write this bit as one it will enable all it will not see other bits after you make this bit one right and to control priority we have ip register so ip register is inter priority register that is also bit addressable so with respect to ip7 to ip0 you can address that as per this name here if you see the sequence that is the, there as per this sequence only right you see int0 that is px0 means priority x0 then priority of t0 as per tf0 then priority of x1 as per int1 then priority of timer1 pt1 as per tf1 then priority of serial that is ps over here then this is reserved here my dear students when you want to provide higher priority at a time you just make that bit to 1 and as if you want to keep priority as it is you just place that as 0 right so when you make it to 1 it will provide higher priority so that is how it is there so for example as if i want to assign highest priority to serial communication then i just make this bit to 1 and i'll keep other bits as 0 so that serial will be having highest priority by default serial is having fifth priority that is lowest priority as if i want to assign highest priority to int1 then just make this px1 bit as 1 and keep other bits as 0 so that you can have highest priority with int1 by px1 right that is how we can assign priority so we can provide higher priority by making this bit 1 my dear students as if you make two bits as higher priority then what will happen let us try to understand that see when you keep this tf0 and tf1 these two bits as 1 for pt1 and pt0 and let us keep other bits as 0 so what will happen so tf0 now that will be having first priority tf1 that will be having second priority and then you see int0 will be having third int1 will be having fourth and serial will be having fifth so that is how it will happen so by default priority will get considered right 
that is there as per priority only but here whatever bit that you are assigning with higher priority that you need to make it with one so at a time as if you have two bits which is having logic one in that case this order that will come into the consideration so that is how my dear students you are having controlling of interrupt you can enable interrupt you can decide the priority by using ie and ip register i hope it is clear to you still if any confusion is there just post that in comment box i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video